Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about lab calculations, today we are going to talk about dilutions and if you take genetics lab, I have good news for you because unlike in chemistry lab, in genetics lab, we only need probably 20 formulas and this is going to be one of them. So after this lesson, you may say that you achieved your goal by 5%. So here's a question, what dilutions would you need to do from stock solution of 20 millimoles to give a solution of 10 micromoles? And here's the variance to choose from. So how we are going to approach this problem? You actually don't need any formulas here, just common logic and sense going to help you to solve this type of problems. Take a look, millimoles means milli means 1000 of something. For example, one milliliter would be 1000 of liter. And one micromole means one millions. So one over million. So one millions. And as you see, one millions is 1000 times smaller than 1000. And 10 is twice smaller than 20. So here we need 2000 dilutions. 20 millimoles is 2000 uh, times more concentrated than 10 micromoles or 10 micromoles is 2000 times diluted 20 millimoles. In other words, we also can say that 20 millimoles equal to 20,000 micromoles. 20,000 micromoles is our initial stock solution and we should get 10 micromoles. So we just divide this number by 10 and we are going to get 2,000 dilutions. Let's check our answers. Answer A would give us 500 dilutions. Answer B, first we take one part of something, dilute it 100 times, and then we take one part of this and dilute 20 times. So we dilute it 100 times and then 20 times, we got 2000 dilutions. So our answer is B, but let's check the rest. For example, here we get two dilutions and then 250. So here we got 500 dilutions. Here 100 dilutions and then one in two, we got 200 dilutions here. So the only correct answer, which give us 2000 dilutions is answer B. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.